One of the fastest growing trends in home improvement today is the application of concrete in decorative and ornamental settings. And a big reason for this popularity is a revolutionary improvement in concrete finishing quality and durability, led by Ultrafiber 500. In the past, contractors faced a difficult decision when using concrete for decorative purposes. They had to choose between using polypropylene reinforced concrete, which leaves unsightly surface fuzz and blemishes, or using concrete with no fiber, which can result in premature cracking and reduced strength. In other words, it was a no-win situation. But with Ultrafiber 500, concrete finishers get superior crack resistance and smooth, blemish-free surfaces in one convenient solution. After discovering Ultrafiber 500, we were so pleased with how it performed and not having any cosmetic problems that now we use it in virtually every application we have. That's it's another great thing. It removes the decision making. We just know that we can use it in everything. We use it in all of our mixes now. It's something that uh, has just had a phenomenal uh, impact on, on what we do. It makes a, a better structural product. It makes a more beautiful cosmetic product. And uh, we don't have any of the problems that we used to experience with the synthetic fibers. In a one and a half pound dose, Ultrafiber 500 has 20 times the number of fibers and over 28 times the surface area of the same amount of traditional polypropylene. So you get more fibers dispersed throughout the concrete that can intersect more microcracks and disperse more energy. In addition, typical polypropylene fibers, as shown here, have minimal, if any, bonding with concrete mix. In contrast, the natural Ultrafiber 500 cellulose fiber shows significant bonding with the mix, which further increases strength and resistance to wear. What uh, Ultrafiber 500 can offer that polypropylene cannot is the internal hydration process. It is hydrophilic in nature, which means that it will hold water in and absorb a little bit of water and then release it over time, which allows the hydration process to continue. Uh, polypropylene does not uh, hold water in. In fact, it is hydrophobic. It uh, is not attracted to water, so uh, basically the concrete will, will not bond to the fiber. As far as performance, Ultrafiber 500 in uh, testing we have done intent internally in our laboratory has shown increases as high as 18% in compressive strength. Through uh, other laboratories externally, we have seen similar increases, so Ultrafiber uh, will increase your compressive strength. Another major advantage of Ultrafiber 500 is its ease of use in the decorative process. It improves releasability from stamps, skins, and molds with both dry and liquid release agents. Furthermore, Ultrafiber 500 is completely compatible with stains and dyes. Because polypropylene is made of petroleum, it repels moisture and cannot absorb coloring agents commonly used in the decorative process. But because Ultrafiber 500 is a natural cellulose fiber, it absorbs pigments, stains, and dyes without any problem at all. We've been using the uh, Ultrafiber for, I believe, about two years now um, on our decks and have had zero callbacks on any job that we've done. The color is more consistent and we've had no problems again with any uh, of the stamped and stained colors we've used. By using the ultrafiber mix in the concrete, it has created something that I no longer have to worry about um, the application process. And it's uh, a product I don't have to, to give a lot of thought or concern about over time of how it's going to hold up because it's held up extremely well. And I've had no um, structural issues on any job that we've done. As a result, homeowners have more freedom to select colors that best enhance the beauty of their home and Ultrafiber 500's ability to absorb moisture also enables it to wick in sealant more thoroughly, increasing the durability of the concrete and enabling it to maintain its appearance longer. And finally, Ultrafiber 500 is unparalleled in surface finishing quality. With polypropylene, concrete finishers risk balling, clumping, fuzz and other big problems in decorative applications. But Ultrafiber 500 gives concrete finishers smooth, blemish-free surfaces every time. So callbacks and dissatisfied customers are virtually eliminated. Whenever we used polypropylene or some of the synthetic fibers, it was always a gamble as to whether we were going to have some cosmetic blemishes show up at the finishing stages. 
So in some circumstances, we were having to provide a lesser product to our clients because we wouldn't want to risk using polypropylene or, or other synthetic fibers. One of the benefits of Ultrafiber 500 that I don't think we initially anticipated was the, while we were using it for the structural implications that it has, we later learned that as we were pigmenting the surface, that we were getting a better uh, presentation of the pigment. We were getting a better reaction. It was uh, showing up a more lustrous appearance. For decorative applications, there's no better solution than Ultrafiber 500. It provides superior crack reduction, makes the decorative process easier than ever, and delivers smooth, blemish-free surfaces. And it gives contractors a major advantage in improving the quality of their work and building more business. Ultrafiber 500, making decorative concrete stronger, easier, and more beautiful than ever before.